Right, but you can you can effectuate the same end in a much kinder way. No, it's fine. I ugh, I honestly don't know if she would have said anything fucking nicer. <sighs> Wait. Aw, Scarfine. <laughs> Thank you. Where's Tally's room? Is Tally's room down? I think so. Oh. Like, I know she's in the back, but I didn't know whether it was on that level or this one. It makes sense that it'd be on, on the bottom level. Here we go. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Oh, we're not gonna... Okay. I should go. See you later. Am I gonna talk about it at all? Oh, shit. We gotta talk to Rex. Oh, uh, he's not gonna be happy about... Oh! Hey, little guys. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps no, no. We'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. You guys stay as uh, long as you need to. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Absolutely not. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Oh, you have things. May I look at them? Let me see what you have. <gasps> yes. I think mine's better. Yeah, mine's still better in every respect. Uh, talk to Garrus and then Rex. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I was about to say, um, pretty sure we had this chat already, which is the one we're supposed to, to select to get him to continue. I think it's this one, right? Is that it? Okay. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. But we already met Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Oh no. Is that... Commander, I wanted to thank you. I don't have time for this. Oh, oh. oh. goodbye, Commander. Oh, Shepard, why are you like this? Why? <laughs> yeah, Atticus, who coded this? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, we can't even get to her locker anymore. I was trying. Oh, Ashley, I'm sorry. I hate it. I hate it. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I 
respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. For real, for real. Those are all our normal chat options. Yeah, I just, that's the last thing for me. Like, I just, I wish our locker was still there. <sighs> yeah, at least he does react to Vermeer. So long, Vermeer. Jesus. Shepherd. Ugh, hello, puppy. Oh, that was emotionally exhausting. God, uh, now I gotta go. I didn't really uh, equip anything for for Ashley because I never took her with me. Ugh. I already did that. I'll save here. Ugh. Weight of the world. I just, it just feels bad. It just feels bad. Oh, I have to go to the Citadel. Oh, Thor Siren, go get some sleep. Thanks for hanging out for as long as you did. I appreciate it. Oh, you're right, weight of the world's plural, no wonder. No wonder it feels so heavy. I'd be the worst at like being in charge of something like this. Oh, I thought it was Potato Dad for a second. Cause he's got the uniform thing on. Oh, they all do. Never mind. Yeah. It does feel weighty. I don't like. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. <sighs> Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. <sighs> yeah, we did talk to Liara. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Good night, Magnus. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. But not against the Reapers. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Oh, you can trust me on that? Every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. It's so annoying. They're just literally picking and choosing the words that we say that they think are valid. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Uh, excuse me? What do you mean it's over? Do they not have ears? Are they not listening? <sighs> One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. You, you have nothing under control. Literally nothing. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. 
Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. What about Liara? What about all these people of Saren's that we could have taken with us and gotten to testify on our behalf? It's kind of a plot hole. Um, but they're probably intentionally leaving that out so we can have this clash with the council. Y'all, this is this is madness. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. Are you there excuse me? There are serious me? political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Why wouldn't you just let me investigate? If you're concerned with the terminus system bullshit, they'll just like, what, worst case scenario, like, gun my ship down? Well, then we're done, Z's. It's no sweat off your back. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Hi, hun. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. There, there are bigger issues. But I get what Liara is getting at. It hobbles us and makes us incapable of dealing with the real threat. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I mean, we did try that and then they s literally ignored our presence and talked to our representative instead. Also, Anatomoy? Is that how you pronounce that? Thank you for the follow. This is just infuriating. Also, yeah, fuck the Chantry. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? I mean, like... It's not my intent. We're out of the game for now. But I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Yeah. Thank you for being precious. Oh. Oh, are we doing the things? Are we doing the things? Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Joker. We could just ignore him. Can we just ignore him? Why? Why don't I have the option to just ignore him? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. No. Oh, I don't even get a choice. Well, we'll go smooch in Flux instead. Oh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, ladies time, ladies time. 
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Uh. Well, Keeper Boy's still up there. All right. Go do shit. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Good, I'm glad he's getting some help. Mmm. That's right, I haven't taken her to Flux before. See, we're gonna go dance and smooch. Where Joker can't interrupt us. Ooh, Steeler Wayne, what donut do you want Merlin to eat? Mmm, yeah, we should go check in with Vernmer. I need Sidium. No, I want to go to the wards. How do I do that? Oh, you know, I don't know why the chat filter's on. I didn't put it on. If you want me to go over the different donuts, Steeler Wayne, you just let me know. Um, we've got, um, ooh, Nephorius. You let me know too. We've got Twix. Almond Joy. Uh, it's like monkey bread. English Gentleman. And Captain Crunch. And it's Merlin's birthday tomorrow, so he's getting them. Vermaria. <laughs> Captain Crunch and... Got it. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. I didn't realize his face was so close to the camera. You're so cute. Here's your second one. He's just giving you guys the bedroom eyes as he eats donuts. You're so cute. Nugget. He's not even doing anything. He's just laying in the doorway and all the cats hate him so much they don't want to get past. Can you grab that baby for me? Watch out, it's right behind you. All right. <laughs> right? That shit's hilarious. Oh, you got a wink? He's so precious. All right. We need to go to the flux. So, what? There are time for both things. You can make out and still do that. Oh, he's spicy. Spicy? Are you spicy, baby? He's been terrorizing his siblings. But look at those beans. They're good beans. Okay. There you go. He's spicy. You can take him. He's gonna like... Oh, there we go. For the nugget time. Yes, I have met Werner twice now. Okay, first things first. Where's Liara? But I want to dance with her. <gasps> you dance with me? Please? Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk to each other. But can we dance, please? Can we dance? She's a much better dancer than we are. 
California. <laughs> Thank you, Liara. You're wonderful and I adore you. Oh, really? Let me save then. All right. So we're supposed to talk to somebody here and I saw that I missed some quests. So we'll go back and grab those. Pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? Uh, what's up? How can I help you? Soldier, I've got a major situation and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Oh, it sounds like you're trying to sell me something. What's up? What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Oh, okay. I understand it's important, so what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit and I need more from the med bay. <laughs> You're coming to me for this? Oh my god, are you for real, Atticus? What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused wow. and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Uh, is this cocaine that you're talking about? If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarian stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. Which sounds like no a good race plan. No race respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. <sighs> Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that was the same thing as the last one, but... Or we, he should still have some faith in his assistant. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. I'm All sure. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. Uh, <laughs> no. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. You're gonna be fine. Go sleep it off. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I'll I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Can you imagine embarrassing yourself in front of the first human specter like that? Y'all. Yeah, I just finished Vermeer. We just came back to the Citadel after wrapping all of that up. God, what time is it even? Oh my god. We might not even need to go for the extra hour. Vermeer. We gotta say it a different way each time. Vermeer? <laughs> it's like imprinted in my brain now. Yeah, it was insane. All right. Now we said Potato Dad was here somewhere. What 
let's find him. I don't see potato dad. Oh, I did? Was he down there? Is he in? Oh, potato dad. Hey, what's up? I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. I mean, like, yeah, but I can't get there now. Am I still a specter? I'm still a specter, right? I just... There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. How do we do you that? Can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Wait, are you, are you, wait. Is he gonna do something illegal for us? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding Ooh, the bag. wait. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Oh my god, but... Right? We do love to see it. That is that is the definition of chaotic good. Valiant. Thank you for the follow. He, he is... He is peak potato dad. But I, I am concerned about the repercussions he might suffer. I don't want, I don't want them to like kill him. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. It's true. Uh, I'm worried about him. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Uh, wait, does this mean we can't pick up the other quest? Did I start this too soon? You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Can we distract Hopefully him? He won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Oh. Um. I definitely think that breaking into the computer is the best option here, but... <sighs> yeah. Oh, I appreciate it, Dad. This is very intense. <sighs> You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. Yeah, because he's not supporting us. This station, Commander? No, no, I gotta go talk to my fanboy. I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. It has been really intense. It's draining. Like, I care a lot about what's going on. Okay, let's go say hello to Werner, who is. He should be outside ish. Yeah, we just got to go down here and then over to the right. See, I know my way around now. Excuse me? What? Oh, don't be a bigot. Excuse me. You're the Spectre, right? You're not going to like what I have to say about this young man. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Mm-hmm. What's this demonstration about? 
I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of me. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. <sighs> the war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. No. They have certain baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. Oh my god. Are what you the for real? does affects everyone around it. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. You can't talk to my girlfriend like that. I kiss her on the mouth, you dumb bigot. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support <laughs> for the candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. How about I stand here and make out with my alien girlfriend in front of your supporters? I think that's going to get my sentiment across better. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. You're gross, and I wish I could punch you. Throw the appeasers out! Aliens off Earth! <sighs> They're so gross. Always punch bigots. <laughs> All right. It's, oh, he's not here. He went home to his wife after I yelled at him. Well, I don't know if we talked to him three times, but uh, he, he definitely needs to go hang out with his wife. And not, not a fan boy as hard as he was fanboying. Um, all the keepers. Oh, we scanned keepers ages ago. Is this, is this it? Yep, that's it. All right, let's head back to Potato Dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Wasabi. Uh, we've got all the like best. Spectre stuff already. I'm not super concerned with our gear. We've been blowing shit up. Shit's honestly a little on the easy side. <sighs> Get out of here. Quit being hateful. Be better. 
I did kill Saren super fast. So fast. Yeah, let's. It's already 10. Mm. Oh, you, you guys are sweet. Hmm. Oh, okay, Tyler. Which one? I don't. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know how long the end game stuff is gonna be. That's what I'm worried about. You want me to do it? Oh, I'm nervous. You don't know? You want me to just pick for you? Wait, am I going to finish it tonight? Dang. Oh, I don't I don't think I want to finish it tonight. That's too much commitment. Like I need to mentally prepare for that. <laughs> I'll do the cutscene. I'll do the cutscene. We'll compromise. You go, birthday. Birthday beard boy. <laughs> you gotta scoot all the way over. There you go. I don't wanna finish it tonight, though. That's too much. Just too much at once. Too much. Hmm. Well, this isn't your stream. <laughs> you right. <laughs> oh, hey, Travis. No, we will not be putting Merlin's bottom on the stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I can definitely have some water. Ooh. Oh, hey, Uter. So you redeem your kitten nuggets, but you just let me know which one you want. Your bottom violates Twitch code of content. <laughs> so we have, um, he got a bunch of cookies from Hertz. Cookies, these aren't cookies. Um, Twix, Almond Joy, English Gentleman, i.e. Heath Candy. Uh, it's like monkey bread, but with caramel, and then Captain Crunch. You pick. It's a 750? Oh, thank you, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah, it's super easy. Very manageable. Yeah, which one? Which one? Ooh, dealer's choice. Oh, did you point to one? No. I just got my hair out. Oh, thank you, Ray. That one was the Almond Joy. It's very mm -hmm. good. Fox News would. They can sit and spin. All right. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, Ray, that means you get the new, the new little icon, right? Oh, I'm about to find out why. Ooh, is it sex scene time? You just should have said so. <laughs> you ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Take me to my sex scene, Potato Dad. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. <laughs> you get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Wait, I wasn't listening. What did I? Oh, I need to go back? <laughs> Be gay, do crimes. It's our motto. <laughs> Um, I need to go to c -Sec, please. All right. Wait, unless I go straight to Elos. Is there anything that I need to finish?
No? No, that's it. Is it Elos? Ilos? God damn it. Can't pronounce anything correctly. Okay. Then. Oh, T? My B. Y'all, I went to law school. <laughs> My reading comprehension is perfect, right? <laughs> Your biotic skill is extremely impressive, Dr. Tosoni. Is that typical among Asari? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. And the Asari are the most advanced race on the Council. I wonder if all Citadel races will eventually be natural biotics. They're so sweet. Just chit-chatting with each other. Hello. I do too, Sister Knight. I think they're very sweet. <sighs> All right, Petita Dad. I'm probably not in the same stream, Party Pooper, but the next stream would be, yeah. I don't know. There's no actual. Well, I guess I don't know. I've never seen it. I don't know if there's nudity. Hmm. Huh. I'm kind of worried about that now. I don't want them to take the bot down. You know, I probably will Stand read them. by, shore party. I probably will read the books. Oh shit. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <gasps> Oh, potato dad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Oh no. Oh no. That was the sexy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we've done the do crimes part. Now we get to go be gay. Wait, this is the wrong way. God damn it, I do it every time. Oh man. There's only one room to be gay in. Wait. But. Yeah. What? I want to be gay here. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. But. But she's. Oh, what? I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Hmm. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. <sighs> she didn't have new chat. Okay, okay. <laughs> no. Oh, that's right. I have my own room somewhere that I don't know where it is. Stare at each other for a few more seconds. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. <laughs> we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, you Kaiden. 
Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. All right, that's that's a fair assessment. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander. All right. A few more, and then we can go be gay. Uh, I gotta go down. <laughs> Alright. Garrus, do you have anything to say other than... I can't believe we stole the Normandy. Oh, yeah. After everything you told me, uh, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? Um, it, so long? What do you mean, so long? Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk, compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. Ugh. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We are definitely going to try. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Thanks for the chat, Garrus. All right, Rex. Rex is probably like super down for this. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. I appreciate you. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. <laughs> I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. Agreed. You and me both. He'll get us through, Shepard. Thanks. I appreciate your vote of confidence, my dude. So long, Rex. Shepard. Oh. Uh-oh, why is your banning finger ready? Oh, yeah, no spoilers, guys. You only get to play through this the first time once. We're talking about Alan. Yeah. We're fugitives on the run. Very Those people are pretty respectful. I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. I don't want to ask her that. I don't want to like take advantage of that. But I do want to do the dialogue option. Your father probably has some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. Oof. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. Oof. I should go. What else do we need? Is that it? See you later. Joker. We need Joker. Any of it. Plus, un unless I ask an explicit question, everything else is effectively a spoiler. If it's something I haven't played yet, right? <laughs> All right. We got. There we go. Yeah, right. Hella awkward. Bye, Lucas. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you have a great night. It is a joke in time. Oh, Ira was just like, it's, oh. Ira's amazing. There aren't words. Oh, damn it. No sign of pursuit. I was hoping the council would send some ships after <gasps> us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. It's it's not over yet, honey. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide and seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? Nah, just saying hello. I have to go. All right, see ya. Oh. oh, hey, it's gay time. I get to go see my own room. I'm assuming. Time to be gay, time to be gay. Oh! Oh, oh, 
Oh, you can't go to bed because it's gay time? All right. Now... Elos. Ilos? Elos? God damn it. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've been saving a lot. Just do it! Oh Make God. your dreams come true! I'm gonna make those a lot more expensive. You are just abusing that. Also, thank you for the follow. Is it Chi? Chi King? I'm gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Ilos. That's good shit. Okay, time to be gay. Yes, please. Ugh. Make me read planet stuff? Agatoton. It's a pressure cooker atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of gold. Surface gravity is comfortable at one standard G. There are several areas of debris that may be the wreckage of downed Prothean aerostat colonies. Based on the side of the debris fields, the population of... Oh, 100,000 was likely. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> Party pooper, you are right. All right, here we go. Heading in after we read it. In the golden age of the Protheans, Elos, Ilos, was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Elos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Oh, really? Is the stream? It's not giving me any sort of like... Can you please detain the kitten? He's knocking my shit everywhere. Hmm. I don't see anything on my end. Odd. Oh, I'm sorry, Lemon Cookie. You'll get to see sexy time on the VOD. Sorry, we'll wait for Merlin to get back and we'll start again. He's putting the baby in timeout. The baby is zip zooming through my cords and he's like literally shaking a lot of my equipment. That's so weird. Yeah, because I'm streaming at 1080. And I'm not seeing anything on my end, at least. Ah, oh, Twitch, why? God, the kitten can't be stopped. This is the time of night that he's really wonk, too. God, that's so weird. I'm sorry for those of you that are having trouble. I wish it was something on my end so I could fix it, but I, I don't see anything. I'm not being notified in any capacity. All right. Shepard, may I speak with you? Yes. It is time to be gay. I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? 
Let our bodies and minds unite. God. Can you, like, imagine using the renegade option here? It's so rude. Just tell me what to do. By the goddess, that was incredible, Shepard. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, a creepy Shepard's just like creep creeping. No, I, I do I do intend to keep Liara throughout the entire series. I know there are people who are going to riot that I'm not going to date Garrus, but You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you. For everything. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor Wayne. Yeah, and that's what the nice thing is, is there are other opportunities to play the game over and I can run into different people then. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have the sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option, it's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, mm. drop us right on top of that bastard. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm, who are we gonna take? I think we're taking... Boy band. We make sure we wrote to rotate through everybody. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't punch Kainy there. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. Oh no, it looked like there was Minecraft mode going on in there. Oh shit. Are we back here? We have to get no. inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. <sighs> Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Well, that's probably a good point to end on, so I'll fix it for next time. Uh, all right.
right, guys. Thanks for... Man. That's right. We do have two codex entries. God damn it. Minecraft mode, why? <sighs> no, I'm good. Let's read our codex entries. I think we only have a few left. But we have... Land some locations now? Pharos is a habitable oh, world, no, we've got this like one. the ancient human city of Troy. Ilos is a world known only through second-hand sources. References to Ilos have been found at several other Prothean ruins, though direct study of the world is unlikely to occur. Ilos lies in a remote area of the Terminus systems, only accessible by the legendary Mew Relay. 4,000 years ago, the Mew Relay was knocked out of position by a supernova and lost. Since then, Ilos and its cluster have been inaccessible. Occasionally, a university will organize an expedition to chart a route to Ilos using conventional FTL drive. These never get beyond the planning stages due to the distance and danger. The journey could take years or decades, passing through the hostile Terminus systems and dozens of unexplored systems. Dang. Yes. Tuesday is going to be the next one. I know. I was like... It's a very intense noise. All right. Our last one. Oh, Merlin, do you want to read about the bigots political party? about these guys. Terra Firma is an alliance political party formed after the first contact war. Its policy agenda is based on the principle that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. This covers a variety of legislation. Recent activities by Terra Firma include opposition to a law requiring high school alien language study, a proposal to increase tariffs on alien imports, and leading a popular movement to mark the first contact war with a public holiday. Though founded by well-meeting individuals who feared the submersion of native human cultures under a wave of, quote, alien vogue, Terra Firma's agenda attracts many jingo jingoists and yeah. xenophobes. Uh, I guess... Uh, they're a thing, regardless of the timeline, huh? Ah, uh, Dante, thank you for the sub. That's very kind. All right, guys. Next time, um, I'll have the bug fixed, and we'll just get back right to where we are. All right. Wow, I can't believe like we we have our our last our last session on Tuesday. Oh. Good night, everyone. It was so much fun. Thank you for bearing with me through all our difficult moments, our emotional moments. It's been, oh, it's been a fucking amazing time. Oh yeah, happy birthday, Merlin. You've got a few more hours and then it's your birthday. Thank you guys for being so sweet to Merlin too. Makes me very happy. All right, guys, you know the drill. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Have a good night, guys. And enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the rest of it.